good afternoon, everybody, and thank you very much for coming to this In Conversation with Tacita Dean, and welcome, Tacita. Uh, um, I'm going to ask if you could indicate for me, for us, if you've seen a event for a stage yet. Some of you, oh, a lot of you have, that's, that's fantastic. Let's do the reverse then. So who, who hasn't? hasn't? Yes. Okay, uh, enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> and who's not going to? Uh, yes, who's, <laughs> get out. <laughs> have you ever written a script before? No. Is it an interesting process for you? I mean, uh, one of the very first works of yours that I saw, the blackboard drawings, actually have, well, not to give too much away, a storm. They have disappearance written on them. They have exit. They have silence. I know that's not a script, but it does strike me that there are many ingredients in those early blackboard drawings, which incidentally, if you've not seen them, are simply superb, that have collected into this event. So even though you've perhaps not written a script before, the ingredients are still, um, you're still exploring some of the same subject matter, I think. Um, I, from the very, very early on, the, well, from the blackboard drawings took on a sort of more cinematic um, quality rather than I thought um, theatrical. But you just saying the storm reminded me that I actually did uh, three boards uh, based on the opening description of The Tempest. Yes, The Tempest was written there. Yes, and yes. it said, well, it was, it's called um, A Sea, A Ship, and Afterwards An Island, which is the, and of course I hadn't crossed my mind. <laughs> and that's why you need a curator. <laughs> <laughs> Long memory for art. Uh, <laughs> but script, when you say write a script, and we just mentioned this just before we started, I, I never storyboard my films or anything like that. I, I work from a state of chaos, and, <laughs> and I have my crew here, so they know about this. Um, we film far too much and um, always run out of time. <laughs> and there's never really any, you know, it's, I actually cut from what I have and I form the idea from what I, the material I have. It's not a, like, a, I don't have that idea before. So there's a lot of stuff I don't use. Mm. And that happens every single time. But I really, it's absolutely a creed for me not to pre-imagine what I'm doing. So, event for a stage has been... Difficult? <laughs> I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how <laughs> difficult it's been. But, um, but what I mean in terms of, for the first time, I've actually had to work with someone who is needy of, 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 of direction. Yeah, needs to know. What needs to know, yeah. yeah. It's still a process, isn't it? Well, it's very funny that you chose the one person who's never had anything to do with performance. But that's what's so exciting about it. Mm. I mean, I didn't want a performance artist. I didn't want somebody whose natural habitat is here. I wanted to actually see what you would do in this circumstance. And of course, you've done it brilliantly. Your work does seem to me to have a very strong attachment to time and to this sort of fragility of time. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I can't begin to explain. It's so interesting, theatre and not knowing anything about it is such an interesting position. And I never thought for a minute that I should do anything other than theatre. Um, when, when, you were, when you started to think about this? Yeah, not yeah. that I knew anything about it particularly, but um, of course, I mean, I'm, of course I'm making a film with it. So, in a way, I haven't allowed myself for it to be totally, totally um, transient. But uh, emotionally, it's very, very interesting because it's, it's, it's so profound, this relationship you have to the moment, and then it goes. Mm. I don't know how you deal with it, actually. You mean how people... How theatre theater. people do... I mean, it maybe explains the behaviour of the few directors I know who have always been a bit, a bit brusque and I think they must be like that because they have to just pack up and leave and That's go right. and off it goes and you know and cut off go to the next one and uh, I'm I'm exhausted emotionally I don't you know I think this is just there's nothing that has knocked me sideways as much as this in a long time yeah, so sorry. it's, it's um, 
Yes, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think talk about that later. Yes, all right, okay. I won't no, but that. having said also, I mean, I was saying this earlier, I've gone from a state of dread, real dread, to real elation in a very short period of time. It's like one of those rapid diets or something where you, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about when you first realised that film would be a medium that you would use so much? There was a 24-hour sit-in against Mrs. Thatcher trying to close Family School of Art. And I remember that. And we had to do a collaborative draw, you know, try to do a collaboration. And I remember I just couldn't do collaboration at all. Well, that's another thing, by the way. And, um, and anyway, I ended up sort of just doing a storyboard, but not, a lot, not like the way you're thinking of, but mm. the cartoon strip. Mm. And this Annabelle Nicholson was a visiting lecturer. She came down and she said, uh, you know, why don't you make that into a, a, you know, a real animation, 16 millimeter animation. Mm. So. And then in those, you know, then if you wanted to make a moving image, then you use 16 millimeter if you're a student. Hmm. So I made my first film in 1985, um, and it was like a bit actually how William Kentridge works. So mm -hmm. there was like I would draw something and I would change on the same drawing, and, ch and photograph change again, and you would see the, the the shadow behind it. But what happened, which was so important, was that everybody in media said, you've got to try and get your films into what this myth mythical thing called distribution, all right? Mm. And there was this female-only distribution thing in Bethnal Green Road, and, um, and I remember having to submit, I, you know, submitting the story of Beard to that when I left the Slade, and it was rejected. Mm. Thank God. <laughs> because then I took the road that I was always on, is actually that I am actually an artist, mm. I'm not a filmmaker, and... Although there's this conflict in, about definition, it, it is different. It is different. And, um, you know, I, I don't just, you know, my whole, you know, audience is, is or, who, you know, my context is, is art, actually. And this is what's been so interesting about working with theatre and context. And Stephen and I have been wrestling, sometimes you know, really wrestling. <laughs> She says euphemistic. <laughs> um, over, over what we are doing. Yeah, what and he you? says, he says, right, that he goes, so well, this isn't theatre. Mm. And I said, well, it's not art. Mm. So we're saying, you know, so we're saying, you know, and it keeps going. And even the other day when he came and said good luck to everyone, I said, I thought you didn't say that in the theatre. He said, it's not theatre. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, what it is has been going on for a while. And it's, it's strange because I think you know, he had a lot of preconceptions about what art might be, yeah. and I had a lot of preconceptions about what theatre might be, but we were both ignorant, in a way, of each other's process. And I think it's been some, you know, what's gone into the making of Event for a Stage has been some profound misunderstandings. Profound. Which is so interesting. So I can't tell you what they are. No. But, you know, it's been so... Well, the people who've seen it know it. You know, they, they yeah, understand. I mean, I, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but you're, but you're making a film, aren't you? Also, yes. And do you yet know um, what the structure of that film might be? I mean, do you have a preconception? Well, no. The structure is, will be. Um, all I will say is that there are f four performances, and um, there's something different each night about the performance. So I will cut the film over. F the four nights as one thing. Mm. So it will always have that disjunction of the different audience in the background, the different, you know, shifts in the performance. Um, and of course it's important perhaps for us to use this opportunity to remind people something of your quest to save film. Perhaps also to explain to people uh, that, it, that it's not about, it's not anti-digital so much, but it's about a, a, a coexistence or, or the enabling of the film medium to continue to be available for people who want to use it. I am trying to save the medium of film, and not only the medium of film, um, but the practice of filmmaking and film projection, the experience of, of projecting a print, um, along with a, a small group of others. And we have, um, we, we're trying to take it to UNESCO now, as to get it to protect it as a world heritage. And, we have set up a, uh, a website 
um, with the help of ACCA actually. Art museums have a lot of works on film in their collections and there are a lot of artists and filmmakers and um, some film directors who still want to shoot on film. The problem is, is that you know, although negative might survive a bit, the problem is that, that the film industry no longer leaves print, film print, they don't project print anymore. And um, I need print. And all the f art, art museums need print. Mm. And what UNESCO will do is very simply, it will, under, you know, it will force you know, the international community, because this is an international project, mm. to underwrite that so that we would protect it as, uh, as a, you know, like we would protect anything, mm -hmm. actually. Um, so that, 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 it's, that labs, and it's only about lab and stock manufacture, in a way, um, would, we would just keep it going enough for it to become on a level field again, because I have no doubt that people are going to want it quite soon. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they already do, but in a, in a way, I mean, uh, I've already encountered a lot of young people who are completely frustrated. They want to work in a, the medium of film. And, but if you lose the knowledge now and lose this just tiny part of the puzzle, which they just slipped into, discontinued, discontinued, mm. then that's it. And what it means is, you know, you can be a Hollywood director, you can shoot on negative, you can, uh, you can telecine it onto digital, and then it never leaves digital sure. because projection has gone. Mm. And, that's, and that is the issue. So, so please visit savefilm.org if you've a mind to. The and last sign the petition. And sign the petition. Well now, uh, can I please thank Carriage Works, Lisa, Rosie, everybody, Lisa again, uh, here. But also, um, can you please thank uh, Tacita Dean. And Stephen.